I've noticed in the last week or two, we've had a lot of searches through our website, planetnoco.com, uh, on the topic of custom states. So I thought I would take five, 10 minutes to record the video um, to demonstrate how and when to use custom states in Bubble and why uh, they can be really helpful. Um, so the first use case is going to be a, um, a checkbox. So uh, imagine I've got here like a registration form um, and uh, I'm gonna put in another field. And instead of using the um, default checkbox uh, input here that Bubble provides uh, because it's tricky to style, um, I'm going to use an icon instead. Uh, I'm gonna make this quite big and uh, well, ugly just so that it illustrates the point. Uh, so um, there I have uh, a checkbox and uh, let's, let's give it a label. Um, like on a sign up form, um, no, sorry, a sign in form, yeah, you could have like remember me. Remember me. Um, let's just change this to a row uh, and center that. Center there. And uh, place, the, no, not the content, the parent. There we go. Uh, and let's preview that. Okay, um, so uh, custom states are really good at uh, a really good way of storing data um, that isn't uh, needed in your database. Uh, so uh, you can use a custom state to avoid having to create additional fields, uh, leaving your database much more lean and clean. Um, and also it's for data which it doesn't matter if the data is only stored whilst the user is on the current page because a custom state loses its data if the page is refreshed or the user visits another page and then comes back. Um, so uh, custom states are created like this. They can be created on any element uh, including the page itself um, but for simplicity's sake I'm gonna uh, label this uh, form field and we click on the eye icon and then go add a new custom state. And I will uh, call this remember me. Um, and custom states can store any of the existing um, database types uh, that you have uh, in your bubble app. Um, but for this, I just need it to be yes or no. And the default is going to be no. Uh, and so I want to set this up so that when the uh, user clicks on this field, I am going to change the custom state of form field, there it is, to yes. Okay, I also need to sort out the reverse of this. Now I like to use color coding here so that if I'm doing something positive, I'll make it green. Copy and pasting it, and if I'm doing something negative, I make it red. So this one is gonna be change value to no. Um, but in order to, at the moment, both of these workflows will run at the same time. Uh, so I need to create an only when statement. So only when um, form field, so this is taking it from yes to no. So it's only when form field is yes, take it to no. And uh, in fact, I can copy and paste this expression and then invert it is no, take it to yes. Okay, that's the those are the workflows required for a custom field. Um, but nothing's gonna show up on the front end here. Uh, so I need to add a conditional statement to my icon. Um, so when form field, uh, remember me is yes. I want to change the icon. Uh, and I think font awesome, call it check. Okay, and I can preview it there, makes it checked. Um, let's refresh our preview. So I can click anywhere in this group and you can now see my icon changes. Uh, and I could do this with any other icon um, plugin that's available in Bubble. It just broadens what I can do with a checkbox. Um, and it also means that I can make other, uh, like clicking on any other group can do the same thing because it's working on a custom state rather than working on an actual like HTML checkbox element, which this is. Um, so that's one use. Another use is if the if you want to create a temporary list um, for like a user to select different items. 
Um, so let's have a look. I'm going to use an option set I've already created called availability. And I've got three options here, mornings, afternoons, and evenings. So let's uh, create a repeating group that shows my availability option set. And I want it to show all of them. Um, there's just three of them. Uh, let's place a label in there. So current sales availability display. So that will allow me to list my mornings, afternoons, and evenings. Um, and uh, in fact, I'm gonna copy and paste the checkbox because I also want to use that. Um, change the cell to a row. Um, I'm gonna group these because I, same as here, I need to have a group in order to create a on-click um, workflow. Um, so group those into a row. Um, And let's just get rid of the heights here. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's preview that. Uh, in fact, let me put it so it's nice in the middle. And let's preview it. Okay. Uh, so I want the user to be able to click on when they're available, but I only want that uh, data saved to the user when they click submit. So this is a perfect use case for custom states uh, because I can save the selection that the user has taken as a custom state rather than saving it right to the database. Um, so I now need to create a new place to store the custom state. Now I can store it on, repeating, on the repeating group just like any element on the page. But it can get a little bit confusing. So actually, I will do that because it will demonstrate uh, what I'm pointing out is quite confusing. Um, so let's call this selected uh, availability. And then this is of uh, type availability. And it's a list so that the user can choose more than one morning and afternoon, for example. Um, then let's work out a workflow action so when this is clicked set state of now my custom state is stored in my repeating group selected availability um, and uh, one of the differences when working with custom states compared to working with uh, when working with custom state lists compared to working with database lists is there is no set list add list um, option available uh, in this field here in the bubble editor, but there is a workaround. I simply recall, and this is where it's a little bit confusing. If I choose this top option here, this is everything that's in the repeating group, regardless of how the user interacts with it. I need to choose this one because this is my custom state. And then I can go uh, plus item, uh, current sales availability. Uh, let's work, the, um, work out the only when statement here. Uh, so that would be um, only when current group availability. Remember, select the custom state um, doesn't contain current sales availability. So this is my adding something in action. So I make it green, and then I can just copy and paste it. Um, oh, in fact, uh, so that I this is just a, a tiny bit of optimization. Um, I put my only if statement in the step here, but uh, it's probably better to put it up here to stop the whole workflow from running instead. So let's clear that. Uh, and then, so there's no confusion, I'll just delete that. Right, so we have my only when statement there, runs this, let's duplicate this workflow. And so this is what does contain red, and then invert this as well, minus. Okay, the last thing I need to do is connect up uh, the conditional statement for the appearance of my checkbox. So this will be when repeating uh, group availability, select availability. Remember custom state, not my full list from the repeating group, uh, contains uh, current groups availability, change it to a plus.
So now when I click, it updates the custom state. How do I save that to the user? Uh, let's make changes to current user. Let's see if I've already got an availability. I do, availability. So availability, I can use either set list or add list here. Um, set list uh, overwrites the existing list, whereas add list will add this new list to an existing list if it's present in this field availability. So set list will do. Uh, and then repeating group availability. Remember, if I choose this one, it's gonna add all three regardless of the checkboxes the user has checked. Uh, so I go selected availability. So there we have it uh, in slightly more than 10 minutes, uh, but still a brief video. Uh, two really helpful use cases for custom states, uh, demonstrating how to use custom states in Bubble. Uh, and uh, yeah, two really useful cases of using custom states in Bubble.